Hey, welcome back to Grandma Jane's World. Today I'm going to have a friend stop by and I'm just going to make a little cool taco dip to eat with her because it's a, getting to be a hot day. It's summer. I love it though. I love it. And um, it's real easy. I'm going to make a half of a batch that I normally make because it's just her and I. So I'm going to start with, let me show this to you again, um, a half of a block of Philadelphia cream cheese that I have softened in the microwave. And then I'm gonna use half a batch of um, sour cream as well. So four ounces each. And just mix that up. And a half a container of the powdered taco seasoning. Mix that till it's Good and blended, incorporated. Now you can also put a layer of refried beans on there if you want. Um, one thing with my recipes, you can usually modify them any way you want to. But I'm just showing you the basic kind of recipe for it. And it's been so popular with all ages. Like I said, it's real cool and refreshing to eat on a hot day, especially. This is great for card parties or get-togethers with adults as an appetizer. Then I'm going to, now that's all blended, put it out onto a plate. Smooth it on there. So it's about even thickness. And this plate has sort of a lip around the edge, so I'm going to go right up to that lip. Okay, about even. All right. Then the next thing I like to put on is my lettuce. And I just shredded up some lettuce that I had. I use iceberg or romaine, whatever you want to really use, but I just kind of like the crunch of the iceberg. I was kind of raised on ice cream, so I kind of prefer that. And then if you have some tomatoes, kind of sprinkle those on. I like olives, some people don't, but I do. So I've got green and black olive chopped up here. Sliced up into half or whatever that I like on. And then I use cheese, grated, I grated up some cold jack or Kobe Jack cheese. I like that on there too. And I don't put a whole lot on. Just enough to kind of cover it. Um, I don't like store bought, bought and real salty chips either. So I generally go to the uh, Mexican restaurant in town and get some chips. Their chips aren't salty. Everybody has their preference, but I just try to eliminate a little salt that way. And then the next thing is I like salsa. So I just take my favorite salsa and do dollops around there. Just every space amount, a little bit like that. Or you can cover the whole top, however you prefer. And then it's ready. How easy is that? You can refrigerate it before you use it. Or, you know, just make it and eat it right away. But this is a great taco dip to serve people. Very cool, refreshing, nutritious. I like these unsalted chips to go with it. You got a great little lunch and meal or snack or appetizer. You guys have a great day and I love you. Bye.